Hello and welcome to a new video about how to get MQTT data into the Thingworks platform, right? In the last series of videos, we placed our data using an ESP32 reading the encoder. Yeah? Then we are using uh, the ESP32 to get it into the Thingworks platform, right? So, what to do? Well, open your Thingworks platform, your Thingworks composer, all right? Uh, we will add a new project here. Uh, I will stick to the naming convention we have used. Uh, uh, we'll call how it's called the project. Uh, uh, encoder. Encoder read. PR. Eh? Reading and encoder value from MQTT. This is the purpose of the project. All right. A project we have to do because you know this is this is what 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 summarizes. Eh? So I will save this project now. That's it. Now we have a project. Save success successful. This is nice. And we are adding a thing. Huh? And now the thing read encoder thing. This I will apply. encoder read I will apply to the current project oh this is a stupid I mistyped can I change this no well, I will make a new project Encoder read project. Read an encoder value from MQTT. Broker. Okay, save. Now that is a project. And now I should be encoder read, encoder read. Now it fits together. I like it if when the project and the thing names are fitting together and I will let at the end of the thing I will uh, let call the H thing yeah? and the project is PR. Yeah. This one I will close, I will delete it afterwards. Okay and now we have to select another thing template. Okay? The thing template is MQTT. If you do not have this MQTT template, then you have to install the MQTT uh, extension. Here in our environment at school, the MQTT extension of Thingworks uh, is already installed. So I have this uh, Thing template, MQTT. Alright, now encoder data from MQTT broker. All right. Good, good, good. Now I can save it. Yeah? And now here under under configuration, under configuration, I have to set my server. You see, there is already something inside. I am not entirely sure what this is. However, that's how it looks like. Yeah? If you just save it. Here on the server name, we have to use our own broker. Like said, we're using this Hive stuff. So I'm going to enter my things there. So I will use here the URL. The port is the TTL port, 
the username I will I will copy it. I have here I have it written down here and also the password I will put in all right now save and let's see it's broken the link is broken why is the link broken ah use ssl i have i have to place this use ssl save again ah now the link is there you can see if the link is broken here if we have this green line here yeah do it back here it's now red disconnected the thing works server cannot subscribe at the at the uh, mqdt broker yeah? now if i'm configured everything correct back yeah? now we are already connected to the mqdt broker this is good all right so these things this this means that the thing works and the mqdt broker are already communicating to each other and now how to get the encoder value to a property i have to add a property okay add property i will write encoder value this shall be a number huh? there's no unit i will not lock it maybe i'll make it persistent back okay so there's an encoder value we'll copy this encoder value yeah. There are several ways on how to manage uh, to get this this uh, mapped somehow. Yeah. I do I do not remember what property I've sent, so I'm opening the last program. Uh, what was the what was the property? Heinz encoder. <laughs> okay. Ah, it was subscribed. Ah, yeah, I also already posted it. Okay, so now now we have to map this Heinz encoder. This is what the ESP is publishing to this property. Yeah, this can be done either automatically or. There's, a, there's also automatic mapping. However, I will do manual mapping here. Yeah. Let's see. Here is the here are the mappings. Here with this with this format you can auto map. Yeah. So if I would write here Heinz and then this S is, is there are several things. Yeah. This P is the is the property, this T is the thing, and this S is the server and so on. So you could uh, encode already in the property name what it is. Or you can simply add your own mapping, what I'm going to do now. I say I subscribe. Yeah? The topic is I will, I, I will put it to encoder value. Yeah? And the topic is Heinz encoder. Add. All right, save. And now we should already get here values, I guess, if I change here something. 10, 12. You see, I am, make it smaller, I am turning here. Book. I will refresh. Now it's 14. Refresh again, stays for it. Then turn one time, refresh, 16. Turn back, refresh, 14 again. So the value already is coming from here to the ThingWorks platform. Let's see if I can also get to negative. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should be at zero. Yes. <laughs> one, negative two. Oh, <laughs> All right, so this is how you get values out from your ESP or, or Arduino or whatever yeah, 
to MQTT and get this MQTT data in, in your Thingworks platform. And from there, yeah, you can use it in your Vuforia experience and so on. All right? All right. Like it. Like it. MQTT connection to, to Thingworks. Save it. Refresh. Good. Good, good. You see, we do not need this, this, uh, what was the name? Application key and so on. Yeah? It is working. It is working. Right? Good. So next time we are going to use this value here and manipulate something in our, in our, before experience. I'm searching for words all the time because I'm a little bit, I'm happy that this is working. Okay, so for this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.